there's a pretty good chance that you don't know who Ed Solomon was. He was, in fact, a legendary and iconic figure in a branch of magic that evolved from a very dark, spooky kind of storytelling magic to what it is today, storytelling and mystery entertainment. Yes, he started off and was known as one of the elders in the old days of the satanic, occult-related, spooky stuff called bizarre magic. He wore the robes, and I always thought it was kind of ironic that a mild-mannered music school teacher for high school students by day could scare the pants off you with some of his stories at night. But then he transitioned into what is now known as mystery entertainment or storytelling magic. And that transition occurred during the 125 columns that are all in this book. Magic is a constant evolution of themes, thoughts, concepts, effects, and most importantly, the ability to touch someone inside and leave a lasting memory. This book, Meaningful Conjuring, will help you do that. It's designed specifically to create images, emotions, and make people think Instead of just doing a magic trick, leave people with a lasting memory. That's what Ed tried to do, and he was really good at it. Most of what you'll find in this book are effects that you probably already know and that are very easy to do. And that's because Ed was more interested in getting the message across than doing heavy-handed magic. Oh, sure, there are props, and you may have to put them together or buy them. But the fact is that the storytelling piece is very, very easy to remember. They're logical, they're interesting, sometimes they're philosophical, sometimes they're fun, sometimes they're a little spooky without being gory or over the top. All of them are very, very interesting in one form or another. And as far as the magic is concerned, it's well within the range of most magicians. Aside from honoring Ed and keeping a promise that I made to him before he passed away, one of the main reasons that I wanted to put this book together was so that all of his columns were in one place. Until now, you had to be a member of the IBM to have access to this material. And it's very important material because it represents a transition in a genre of magic. So now, instead of having to search for old linking rings or try and find an archive somewhere, all of his writings, all of his columns, a bonus parade are all in the book.